Hi guys, I am here to bring you my March beauty favorites. I can't believe March has like come and gone. I felt like February took six weeks as opposed to the normal like three and a half, four, and then March like flew by. I can't believe it's done already. But lots of fun things happened in March, I think. You know, uh, the weather was pretty good. We had St. Patrick's Day. Uh, my boyfriend turned 29. He's old. He's kind of a little bit older than me. <laughs> but yeah, no, I just, uh, yeah, I can't believe it's come and gone. But I wanted to bring you my beauty favorites. Now, disclaimer, it's a little random. I mean, it's kind of like the regimen I've been doing, skincare, makeup, hair, that kind of thing. And then two other products that I'm just like, ooh, I am glad you are a part of my life. I just wanted to pay a little homage, 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 pay homage. I wanted to, like, thank you for being a part of my beauty collection, I guess. I don't know. Anywho, uh, yeah, so let's get started. So first and foremost, I have uh, like three hair products here, and uh, I actually actually was introduced to these hair products via my Ipsy Glam Bag and Generation Beauty in January, and I've been using them lately and just loving it. I am back to curly hair for probably just like another week or so. I try to, um, because I don't like chemically relax my hair or anything, I try to keep my hair curly sometimes or in its natural state, should I say, um, just so I don't damage it with heat. I really don't want to do the flat ironing and the blow drying all the time and damage like my natural hair. So every once in a while, you'll see it curly again. Um, and then probably this summer, I'm going to do uh, faux locks or braids or something just to protect it. Anywho, so my three hair products that I have First is one that I actually got in my glam bag for February, January, I don't remember, whatever. And it is the Quenching Coconut Curls. This is by um, OGX, Oxygen, OGX, I don't know. I just love this brand, but it's amazing. It smells lovely. I mean, I just, but you can use it as a leave-in conditioner or you can use it as a curl cream. I think you can also rinse it out. That's totally good. Leave in or rinse out. And I'll just read you kind of the... Uh, some of the um, no testing on animals and the first couple ingredients are mineral oil, water, soybean oil, coconut oil. So all of your oils are very high on the ingredients list, which means there's a good amount of them in there. I always say when you're reading the ingredients list and it's like, oh, argan oil, amazing. And then it's about the 12th ingredients down on the list. Probably not getting a whole lot of nourishment or oil in the hair product. So just something to look for. But yeah, I absolutely love this stuff. So um, I don't have to wash my hair every day, but I do like to just add a little bit of water to it. Pick a little bit up a little, pick up a little bit of the coconut curls and kind of put it, you know, and then get it in there, pull some of the curls, make them all. Mm. So yeah, but it's just lovely. It's a hair butter. I absolutely adore it. And thank you, Ipsy, for sharing with me. And can you believe this whole thing came in my Ipsy bag? Like a full size. Usually you get cute little sample sizes, which I adore because that way I can try it. If I love it, I buy it. But um, yeah, they sent me this whole thing and they were like, go for it. And I went for it and I love it. But yeah, so that is the Quenching Coconut Curls. And I gotta remember how to pronounce this brand. OGX Pure and Simple. Ogs. Oh. Next in the uh, hair products, we'll just go with the same brand, and this is a shampoo that I got at Walmart, okay, and I'm very bougie about my shampoos, expensive hair products, I feel like you get what you pay for a lot of time with hair products, because I don't like a ton of alcohol and all that in there, but this was like uh, $5.47 at Walmart, what? only because I'd used the coconut curls, I was like, okay, I'll give this a try, but I normally use macadamia shampoo and conditioner on my hair because it's amazing for coils, coarse hair, adding moisture and hydration, it's cruelty free, no testing on animals, um, that's cruelty free obviously, all that good stuff and it's just, uh, it's amazing on my hair. So to try to switch it up I get a little uh, picky about it but I saw this and I was like what? What? So I, I, you know, I read through the back just to make sure, I was like okay well what's in here, what's in here and um, yeah, it's amazing, and it's lightweight. I only have to shampoo my hair every five, six days, really. If that, my hair, it's very dry, so to pull out of water and shampoo to leach everything out actually is not a good thing for my hair. But it's amazing, so it's the Weightless Hydration Plus Coconut Water. It's awesome. It leaves my hair bouncy, curly, you know, it doesn't have that, like, weird, like, stripped awful clarifying feel which I cannot stand in my shampoos but yeah and I so it's a good backup is it gonna be my favorite shampoo forever probably not but it's a really good backup to have so yeah that is uh, the shampoo been loving it been loving it girl last in the hair products I'm doing this because I'm bending forward on my table to grab my things I apologize but uh a hairspray now mind you 
Um, I've only been using this hairspray when my hair is straight and I'm going to be out all day. And there's no need to hairspray this. There's no need to add it if it's not necessary. But this is the Marc Anthony True Professional Hydrating Coconut Oil and Shea Butter. It is the volume hairspray with extra hold fullness and volume infused with biotin and it's waterless. <coughs> oh my god, it does smell good. I just inhaled it. That's what the, that's what the problem is. But it's amazing. Anyways, yeah, so waterless hairspray dries instantly and adds extra hold volume and shine. Flexible finish lets you style and restyle without stiffness, flaking, or residue. A light blend of coconut oil, shea butter, and biotin retains hair's moisture as you style. A humidity shield and UV protectors, sulfate, paraben, and DEA free. So it's my kind of hairspray. And I got this actually, um, not to toot my horn or anything, but I did get this in my Ipsy bag from the Glam Party. And uh, the, yeah, they gave me this full size thing in the bag. It's incredible. Oh my God. But it's got this lovely texture feel to it that um, almost like air as opposed to that sticky feeling on your fingers. It's a lot like um, dry oil spray that just happens to have volume and hold in it. But I have been adoring it just when I like, you see me fluff my hair through my bangs and then just kind of wisp and spray a little of that in just to keep the volume and it's there. I love it. So yeah, if you can get your hands on this, I don't know the price. I will look it up and link that down below because I honestly don't know the price off the top of my head since I did receive this for free. But it's good stuff. It's hydrating coconut oil hairspray. How can you be upset with that? You're going to smell like the tropics and your hair is going to be voluminous and you're going to shine. So you need it, okay? Okay. Okay, so moving on to two skincare products that I've been using lately. Although the weather has been warmer, it has not been very moisture, humid humidity filled, like great for my skin. So my skin's been a little dry in places. And uh, I've, I've just been doing what I can with masks and everything. But two products that I always go back to that are radically expensive. So if you don't want them, I completely understand. But they're incredible. And that, uh, uh, yeah, I just use them whenever I can infuse them into products to really help with moisture, to balance my skin, to give it a glow, to keep it healthy. So the first one is I put on right after I wash my face. And it is Viz 1000 by PTR. If you guys know me, Peter Thomas Roth is my favorite skincare brand in the entire world. I don't know what it is, but my skin and his products just like have a bond. Like we are madly in love with each other. I cannot get enough of the products. So anytime I can have it, I, uh, I steal some. But they're not cheap. I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you. His face wash is almost $40. But I do believe with skincare, if you are going to black don't crack or you know keep your skin looking good then you need to you know invest a little bit um because this bottle is like a hundred dollars or something crazy like that but um i've had this bottle now it'll be two years in august so it, it lasts this little urchin here but yeah it is his hydrating serum and it has 75 percent hyaluronic acid in it which is incredible uh what else we got in here fragrance free with sodium pca silk proteins c algae love algae for the skin and for the body honey yerba santa mineral complex and it's for all skin types so i'm super oily but if i get dry patches i do one squirt of it warm it up in the fingers press and put it into the skin and then go in with my moisturizer my skin is hydrated dewy plump the hyaluronic acid just pulls all the collagen into the surface and just I feel amazing and my skin's hydrated. Like there's nothing I can complain about with it. But it is expensive, I'm not gonna lie to you. But if there's anything in this world that has been really helping my skin with hydration, that's it. So I just had to share it with you guys because it's really been helping my skin out like end of February up till now. So yeah. Next skincare product is the Bosha Subaki Beauty Oil. I've talked about this before. I think actually in my summer glow routine with my cover effects drops from last year, Guys, this stuff's amazing. Bosch is a very clean brand. They use no preservatives. They're amazing. It does have some amazing anti-aging products in it, and it is, has cold-pressed subaki and wakame, which is sea kelp, for high levels of antioxidant protection. It hydrates, it replenishes. It's amazing. I use either two drops with my foundation and my beauty blender, or I do a few drops right in my moisturizer and put it on, let it sit for a couple minutes, and then go in with my makeup. But you guys, if you are looking for a beauty oil that does not irritate your skin, that's going to help combat bad oil in your T-zone area, that is the way to go. It's amazing. There is nothing negative I could say about it, or any Bosha product really, for that matter. They're they're wonderful product. It's just something really important to add, important to add into your skincare routine. And I also really think that people get scared of anti-aging products at our age. I'm 25 
and I gotta tell you I just don't think it's ever too early to start using anti-aging because once the wrinkles are already there you can't take the wrinkles back but if I can do it now so that when I'm 75 and I look like Diana Ross how she looks right now then I'm gonna put some beauty oil into my regimen I'm just it's what I'm gonna do bra let's be honest I'm not wearing a bra it's a tank top who needs a bra I do actually but uh, I hate them off topic again wow shocking so yeah that is the Subaki beauty oil by Bosha add it to your foundation add it to your moisturizer and just let it soak in awesome to put on at night if you really want to infuse it into your skin at night and just appreciate what it does for your skin okay okay moving on these two products I'm kind of going to do in tandem together because I have been combining them as you probably know here on my channel I love to add any type of glowing liquid bronze to my foundation to make my skin glow it's a huge deal for me and um, yeah so and then I've also found this foundation that I've been using quite a bit I did talk about this foundation in my products to try in 2016 and I got my hands on it and you guys I've been loving it it is Laura Mercier's candle glow soft luminous foundation I'm in the color praline which is the same color in her Flawless Fluid collection. I just transferred over to order this one. Perfect. It's going to be great for spring into summer. It's actually just a tiny bit warm on me, which is good, so I can wear it in the summertime too. And I've been adding, and yes, this is a baby size because I got it in that little Christmas package thing, but it's the Josie Marin Argon Enlighten Illuminizer. I usually always use my Golden Bronze from Laura Mercier. Mmm. Mmm. But I wanted to try something new. This has more of a champagne glow to it as, appo as opposed to like a bronzy glow. So I was wondering what it was going to do for my skin. But I'm wearing it today and I'm like, this is amazing. So I do two drops of this in my little mixing bowl. And then I do a drop of this. Something in my mouth. So I do a pump of this. Two pumps of foundation. We mix it up in our mixing bowl and then I actually pick it up with my finger. We pretty much apply it everywhere and then I take a brush and I did it. Looking good. Yeah, but you guys, I've been using this probably every day. I haven't been wearing makeup all that often with my newer job. I don't really need to like be glamazon, but just, you know, add some life into my skin. Do that and then you can go in with a brush or a beauty blender and you're going to look pretty phenomenal. They're going to glow. But yeah, that's kind of my new little cocktail I've been doing foundation-wise and stepping aside from the Makeup Forever Laura Mercier combo, which is still my baby. Don't get me wrong. But I like to switch it up a little bit, see what works, see what my skin responds to and what it doesn't react to. So that's that. Last couple of products. Um, I finally got my hands on this, guys. It's only been, I don't know, four months. No, but I'm so excited. This is Manny MUA's palette in collaboration with Makeup Geek. And you guys, it was worth the wait. It is lovely. I um, actually own all the all the shadows in here that were already in here, but I, I just don't care. I think it's absolutely lovely. Um, this guy's probably my favorite. I will uh, bing, post um, the swatches here that I did of these colors. They're absolutely gorgeous. But yeah, I think he did a lovely job. If you can get your hands on it, I think it's well worth it to have as a to-go palette. You can create some really cool smoldering deeper looks in here. You can create some just great daytime looks, some glam date night looks. I think it's a really nice palette. I will probably do an eye tutorial for you guys soon on this, if I can. I will. Okay. Um, my favorite color is obviously the red. Mars, right? Is that what it's called? Mars. Yeah, it's amazing. I will read the colors off to you really fast. So, starting um, over here on the champagne -y thing, we have Artemis, Beaches and Cream, and Luna. We have Cosmopolitan, Sora, and Frappe. And then we have Insomnia, Mars, and Aphrodite. Comes in a great little case. Congratulations, Manny. You did it, and it is incredible. Um, it just aspires, inspires all of us to do better here in the beauty community. So yeah, and I really do love it. It's, it's very good. The texture is incredible, super creamy, and uh, Makeup Geek did not fail us on this. I, uh, I really love it. Moving on to my other, my last makeup piece and my eyeshadow. I had talked about this in my Morphe haul that I did when I went in January, but I'm wearing it on my eyes today. I cannot get enough of it. I actually just did my friend's makeup with this palette, but guys, this is the 35K, and it is awesome. It is every smoky, beautiful, cool tone with your rich, warm tones mixed in in a palette. The texture is there. I really love it. I'll do a zoomy on my eyes so you guys can see what I'm working with. Yeah, so I just put some like grays and browns in the outer corner. I did like a gunmetal and then a lighter silver on the inner corner here. Paired it with some lashes. Guys, I love it. It's so pretty. They're so, it's so pretty. But yeah, I just, 
I if I get a product and I do it in a haul I want to bring it full circle if I end up loving it a lot of times you buy stuff because it's a tr on trend it's awesome but then I actually go to use it and I'm like eh, maybe it wasn't my favorite thing but no I really uh this came full circle for me I adored it I really love it mainly I, and you know what I love about it too is it works really well for medium to deeper skin tones that want to do cool tones a lot of times these really hot silvers and like starky pearl whites for like cool tones kind of look a little like hooker it's fine on the eyes you know but I mean maybe you do want to look like a hooker I don't know but uh yeah I just feel like these are great because they're more of accent pieces on the eye but like these warm bronzers in here these kind of rich red tones this champagne color and then if you wanted to add these I mean this really adheres to many skin tones and I feel like we haven't had that in a while in a palette um the naked smoky is really pretty but it is all really deep dark and then just like two stark silver so I feel like it's a better bang for your buck I've been loving it and the quality is there so yeah that is the Morphe 35k okay last but not least my last little product this is this is an interesting thing to talk about and I'm adding it adding it in my favorites products because I just started um doing trial runs for bridal showers, for weddings for the summer and stuff, because that is uh, one of the main ways I do make money in the summer is actually just freelancing, which I adore. Um, but my airbrush gun broke. I used the Denaire for about a year, and I do the airbrush for weddings because it's efficient, it's flawless, it's great for HD cameras. It has, like, it, it just comes with many colors, it's quick, it's efficient, and uh, yeah, the Denaire broke on me multiple times it was a very difficult product to use and my brother for Christmas had gotten me temp to airbrush paints foundations and so those actually were too thick for the denier gun it was a whole big mess so I was just like you know what I need to get a new airbrush gun and my mom was kind enough to buy one for me she knows how much I love makeup and it's really just become like my true passion and uh, yeah so she went and bought me the temp to sp40 and this airbrush gun, you guys, is, it's the tits. I don't know what else to say. I'm sorry if you've got kids at home that are watching me, but it, guys, it's incredible. Um, yeah, just the, the power is there, super easy to clean. And, uh, yeah, I just, it's been something that's really important to my kit, and I wanted to share it with you guys, because I don't know if you guys knew that I did the whole freelancing thing, but, yeah, when I am doing it, a majority, nine times out of ten, I'm using airbrush on my clients, and it is just so much easier when you have a good airbrush gun. I thought the Denaire was amazing, and I was talking troubles, like, I would pull the actual lever to go and spray a face, and you would just hear it sputter and spit out and I was just like what is going on I would clean it and clean it and clean it and just I was you know there was some more high-end looks I wanted to just try and experiment with on people's faces and the Denier brush the Denier gun for me just wasn't working I was like okay like we got to stop I don't know what else I can do but I turned around and uh, got this this was $90 it is expensive just for this I got an adapter so I could still use my old hose and compressor that I had from Denier so I just had to get a new gun but uh, yeah you just put some uh foundation in the well after you color match and it literally takes me maybe three minutes to do a foundation face for bridal work and then the rest I go in with powders etc etc but yeah I just this was fun that was a, it's a good share if you guys ever need any questions or help about kits um and you want to get into airbrush that temp too is incredible you guys it's absolutely amazing so that wraps it up for my March beauty favorites you guys want to um hear something really crazy it's uh, April 3rd here and uh, we have so much snow outside that we had to reshovel off our cars, like wipe off our cars, shovel the sidewalks in salt, and last weekend it was 70. So that's where I live. That's where I reside, is a place where it is 70, and then six days later, it the high of, what, 31, and uh, there's so much snow on the ground, my dog won't even go take a pee outside. It's fine. It's fine. Anyways, I'm off to go get some Starbucks with my man. I was really excited to film this, and I hope you guys really loved every, you know, all the products that I had in there. Let me know if you have any questions. And, of course, you guys are so good about connecting with me on social media or just talking and, you know, posting down below in the comments box so we can interact and talk about everything. But, as always, let me know what you'd like to see next, and I'll talk to you guys soon, okay?